just a detailed walkthrough of 1318 Loma Linda. Um, I like this. I like this house because all the houses in the neighborhood are very nice, and um, and you know, I think I think this house is deserving of being fixed up for sure. Um, it is definitely the worst house on the block. So, thinking of what needs to be done, I. I I don't like the driveway. It does have a crack. It is heaved somewhat as a result of this tree. This is really bad. And um, I think that piece right there should be demoed and just replaced. Oh. Because it's been tried to be fixed, it's just such a... I, I can live with that bump there, but I think this little piece, let's assume 500 bucks for that. Uh, the whole house needs a paint job. The roof is new, so we don't need a roof, but you can see where the soffit has been patched. It just needs to be caulked and painted and um, all the way around. I think the whole house needs a paint job. I would budget maybe about $3,000 for uh, exterior paint and, you know, some mulch and landscaping, call it 500 bucks. So let's say $5,000 budget for the exterior. Next we have uh, windows. Um, I'm going to count up the windows that we're going to need and I'm going to budget $400 per window. Um, that's definitely one. Two, three, four, five. I think we could keep that bathroom window maybe or put glass block. Six. This is continuation of Loma Linda. Uh, the floor needs to be replaced. All of it needs to be replaced. We, we can figure on about uh, $4 installed price per square foot of luxury vinyl plank with a vapor barrier. Part three, um, all the water is comes in through here. Um, so the plumbing is gonna need to be redone. It only comes in, goes through the water heater and then um, and then it goes into the house. But I'm gonna say that water heater is probably gonna be replaced. It's certainly no good sitting on the ground outside. That that should be that should be enclosed. So we'll have to build an enclosure for that. Um, the panel seems to be in good condition. Power comes in right there and the panel is okay. Uh, the fence just needs to be repaired. Uh, we have to remove debris, um, probably $1,000 for that. Let's say $1,000 for plumbing, $1,000 for debris removal. Also, there's evidence of termites. Um, I don't know if it's active, but at some point this, this did have termites. We should budget for tenting at $1,300 if necessary. And um, then in here, well, we definitely have to replace that window. That's seven windows. So add that another 400 to my window budget of 3,000. So we'll call it 3,500 for windows. Um, and let's see. That's, that's, that's pretty much it. So we got a, it's a, it's a full gut job. Um, we're gonna drywall and paint on the interior do all the flooring, fix the ceiling, uh, redo the bathroom, redo the kitchen, uh, replace windows. We don't have to do a roof, um, but I will add this all up. And I just need to think about this uh, kitchen configuration because the water and, and drain is over there, at, both for the kitchen and the bathroom. It's very simple, it's all right there. So I, even though I'd like to move the kitchen or the sink over here, I think um, keeping it somewhere along this wall and possibly even getting rid of this kind of weird window here. I'm not, I, I don't, I don't know about that window situation there. So um, have to uh, think about that, but it'd be easy enough to relocate. They had the stove there. You could put the stove, uh, a slide in range or something here with a vent hood going up would look nice. Um, this place could look really nice, and so I'll I'll do all the numbers, and I mean it is what it is. It's um, it is it's a nice house in a nice neighborhood. I mean, it's a nice it will be a nice house, and it is a nice neighborhood. And so I'm gonna rerun the numbers and uh, see what I come up with. 
I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 366-0000. Thanks for watching.